The quick access toolbar is a small toolbar that normally appears in the title bar. It is always available, regardless of which ribbon tab is active. By default, the quick access toolbar contains buttons for save, undo, redo, flow sheet, next input, control panel, run, stop, and reinitialize. There are also small downward pointing triangles which open drop down menus. The triangles next to undo and redo open a menu of all the changes you can undo and redo. The final triangle, which is always at the right end of the quick access toolbar, opens the customized quick access toolbar menu. This allows you to add other commonly used commands to the quick access toolbar, or remove commands from it. You can also add any ribbon command, except contextual ones, to the quick access toolbar by right clicking the button in the ribbon and selecting, add to quick access toolbar, and remove them by right clicking commands in the quick access toolbar and selecting remove from quick access toolbar. Commands you add to the quick access toolbar are saved on your computer and available in subsequent runs, except for commands from contextual tabs. There is also a command in this menu to show the quick access toolbar below the ribbon instead of above it. This provides more space for you to add many commands to the quick access toolbar. The final command in this menu allows you to minimize the ribbon. When the ribbon is minimized, only the ribbon tabs show except when you click one. You can also minimize the ribbon by clicking this down arrow. This saves space when you need to maximize the amount of workspace available. File menu, the file menu contains exchange, save, save as, open, close, recent, new, import, export, version compare, edit command file, print preview, print, page setup, about, option and exit commands. From the exchange you can see featured content on exchange or search exchange for models or documents. This is only available when you have a connection to the internet. Save command saves the current simulation under its existing name. And you can change name and its type in file name and file type section. Save as command saves the current simulation under a new name, and possibly as a new file type. The types available are displayed to the right of the menu when you move the mouse over this command, but can also be selected in the save as type field of the save as dialog box. Open command opens a simulation. Close command close the current simulation, without closing Aspen Plus. Recent command open a recently used document. New command creates a new simulation, blank or from a template. Import command imports a file into the current simulation. Export command exports a file from the current simulation or export the simulation to another program by selecting one of the options displayed to the right of the menu when you move the mouse over this command. Version compare command compares the current simulation to a copy saved from another version using Aspen version comparison assistant. Edit compound file command edit the contents of the currently open compound file. From print preview command you can see how printed output will appear before printing. Print command prints the active window. Page setup command configure printing. About command displays information about the installed version of Aspen Plus. Options command opens the options dialog box to specify default options. Exit command closes Aspen Plus. So that's all for today video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video so like, share and if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet then subscribe. See you all in the next video till then, stay blessed.